as far as the service users are concerned, it gives them some uh, social interaction. Um, a lot of them uh, won't see anybody on a daily basis. They, they might not see anybody from one week to another. Um, and when you don't have that in your life, then it, a, a lot can go wrong. You know, no one's checking up on you, no one's seeing if you're okay, and, and it becomes not just about your loneliness, it then becomes a state of mind, and so it, it has a knock on mental health problems. Uh, there's, there's obviously uh, a physical effect to you as well. It can have um, health effects in general, but it can also have mental health effects. So in terms of the benefits it has, uh, then it, it, it benefits them greatly by being able to talk to someone and it, it, it keeps them aware, it keeps them talking, they have something to look forward to. So there's a, it, it has a lot of knock-on effects. The main problems that we face at the moment really are, are, are twofold. One would be far too many referrals. Uh, we, we can't keep up with the number of referrals that we get. Um, there's a lot, as, as we have an ageing population, then equally we have a lot more people who are socially isolated. So we get a lot more referrals than we used to. Um, and although we have more volunteers, um, it's still a lot for one person to do. Uh, so we could probably do with twice the funding that we get at the moment. Um, and, that, and that's probably not going to happen, um, as not, certainly not under the current economic climate. Um, and I guess the scheme itself is in very real danger with the cuts that we're seeing across the board. Um, so it could be that the project ceases to exist in a couple of years' time. We, that we don't know. Uh, but uh, all we can do at the moment is you know, keep providing the service that we do. But it would be nice to be able to look at other ways of uh, combating what is a very real problem.